President Zelensky, first of all, um, have allies loosened restrictions on long-range weapons being used inside Russian territory to hit Russian military targets, or are there countries that are still not doing enough on that? And then separately, I'd like to ask you, uh, you were recently visited by Viktor Orban, who then went to President Putin. Today we hear Viktor Orban is meeting President Trump. Are you worried he's doing backroom deals without you knowing what's going on? Uh, then I'd like to ask the Secretary General the same thing. Did you know he was going to see Trump? Do you know what he's going to talk about? And then just finally, Secretary General, on the decision by the US, the agreement between the US and Germany to uh, allow long-range weapons, US weapons, to go into Germany uh, from time to time. Is that likely to antagonize Russia, or do you think it is a, a smart move? And if so, why? Thank you. Uh, I mean, okay, thanks so much. First of all, answering on your question, first part of your question and previous questions of the lady. So, we, of course, if we, if we want to win, if we want to prevail, if we want to save our country and to defend it, we need to lift all the limitations. I spoke about it with partners, with UK leader, with United States President, with Secretary, all of that. And I will rise up this topic with very concrete facts. We understand where they stay. We understand from what military base they attack us. And if they attacked us and killed our children in the hospital, that is a crazy question why we can't answer and attack this, especially this person, this military base. We are from these guided bombs from jazz or missile came, targeted us, killed our children. So for me, that's not rhetoric. For me, it's real plan. And for our people, not for soldiers, not only for soldiers, that is their job, they understand it. Now this is the plan for all our nation. And we are waiting from our allies, and I'm sure that our friends, allies, will understand all this. We've got very good messages from UK leader, and I hope that we will have uh, we will make such decisions and of course again if we really want to have Ukraine on the map and not to have Putin who is attacked half of the planet yes we need to do very concrete steps quick very quick steps and the second part of your question, I forgot, I'm sorry. Orban, he was in Kiev. I didn't know that he will go to Putin or then to China. And you said now to uh, Trump. Yes, so what, what the question, where he will go tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know, maybe he will come again to Ukraine. I don't know. I mean, that between us, with all respect to everybody, uh, with all respect to all the countries, in big and small countries, but we, we have to understand that not all the leaders, all the leaders can make negotiations. You need to have some power for this.